November marks an important time of year for Indigenous people, Native American Heritage Month. All month long, we celebrate and honor the first peoples of these lands that we now call the United States. This moment isn't just for Indigenous people to celebrate our history, culture, and traditions. It's also a time to educate others about our tribal nations and to recognize all that we've accomplished and contributed to society, and that we are still here. Who exactly is considered Indigenous? And what are the terms used for the different groups from various regions? And when did this yearly cultural celebration become official? Ayuki, hello. I'm Kiara Sotile. And I'm Alyssa Yakidi London, Klinget Ayahut. I'm proud to be Karuk. I am a member of the Klinget tribe of Alaska. We're going to break it all down for you in this episode of Understanding Native American Heritage. Our Native American heritage has always been something to celebrate, but when was it officially recognized on the calendar? To answer that, we have to go back to the early 1900s. In 1914, Red Fox James, a Blackfoot Native American, rode on horseback across America, rallying state governments to approve an official day to honor Native Americans. A year later, with support from 24 states, he presented his proposal at the White House, but there's no record that anything came of it. Then, one year later, the state of New York declared the first recorded American Indian Day in May 1916. But it wasn't until 1990 that President George H.W. Bush officially made it a month. Now let's talk about who are indigenous people. Some prefer the term Native American, others use American Indians, other identifiers are location specific, like Alaska Natives, which refers to indigenous people of Alaska, or First Nations, the First Peoples in Canada. Many indigenous people like to identify by their tribal affiliations, like Navajo Nation or Diné people, Karuk, Puyallup, Tlingit, or Seminole. And since there are 574 federally recognized tribes across the country and 229 in Alaska alone, and even more seeking federal recognition, the best thing to do is ask how we choose to identify. I prefer to identify as Alaska Native and Tlingit. I go by Karuk, but to me, American Indian and Native American are also interchangeable. Some people might imagine we all live on reservations, but actually only about 22% of Native Americans actually live on reservations. The other 78% of us live all over the country and the world. We've been a part of the fabric of this land for so long before it was ever called the United States, and we continue to make our mark today. Last year, Secretary Deb Holland became the first Native American cabinet secretary. She later swore in the first Native American director of the national parks, Charles F. Sams III. The historic first continued this year. Representative Mary Pultola became the first Alaska Native elected to the U.S. House. Mohegan Chief Marilyn Malerba, the first Native American to serve as treasurer of the United States. And just last month, astronaut Nicole Mann the first Native American woman to go to space. So what does all of this tell us? Indigenous heritage is ingrained in the very land we stand on, and our influence is felt across every part of this country. From our sacred traditions to our distinct tribal nations and languages, there's space to celebrate and honor what it means to be Indigenous, what it means to be Native American, and what it means to be American Indian, Alaska Native, First Nations, and many others. 